Hi and welcome back to Silver Linings. My name is Vanessa and today I will guide you through 30 minutes yoga flow. We will focus specifically on lengthening our hamstrings but also strengthening them. We don't need any specific equipment but if you feel your hamstrings are particularly short and tight today you may want to have a towel or a belt or a strap just to help you in some of the stretches. Make sure the screen is positioned in a way you can see me comfortably when you're standing, when you're sitting, when you're laying on your back. And as always, make sure you listen to your body. So if anything doesn't feel right, you can change the variation, try a different option, just reduce the intensity or take a break and join me when you are ready. We make a start into a comfortable seated position to get into the body and the breath, and then we come up for our standing flow. So go ahead and find comfortable seated position. You can choose whatever shin you want in front. And then as you sit, start bringing one hand on your chest, one on your belly and take a slow breath through your nose. And as you exhale, release completely through your nose, feeling a gentle hugging of the abdominals in. And again, breathing through your nose. And exhale, let it go. Take one more slow breath. Good, when you're ready, float your arms overhead, take a big inhale. Exhale, place your right hand down and tilt sideways, releasing your head. Come all the way back and up again. Left hand to the floor and stretch your right arm. Try and keep your right knee pushing down. Take one more each side, breathing to rise. Exhale, tilt. And last one. Stay over to the side and now begin to round the spine forward. So release your head towards your knees. And then continue the circle to the other side. Your left arm lengthens, spin the chest up. You just repeat, curl your spine forward. So we begin to open up the back, release your head and stretch your right fingertips. Move slowly, following your breath. Maintain your hips as still as possible. And one last time. Good, as you come all the way back and up, bring your legs in front of you. So 10 toes pointing forward, fingertips pointing to the front too. We move into reverse tabletop. So first, inhale to extend the arms, open the chest. When you're ready, lift the hips, move your knees forward and start to shift the weight a bit more onto the hands. Squeeze gently through your glutes, lift the hips high, maybe look up or forward or back. One more slow breath and then release your hips down to the floor. Take this one more time. So gently open across the chest then go ahead lift the hips so just powering up through the feet strengthening our hamstrings our back transfer the weight back ever so slightly good one more slow breath and then release the hips walk your feet slightly further forward legs can be bent or straight lift your arms overhead big inhale and as you exhale stretch as forward as you can releasing your head use your abdominals to roll up through the spine arms overhead breathing in and again, exhale, stretch all the way to the front. Roll through the spine. Bring your fingertips up. Maybe reach a little further forward. It's absolutely fine to keep the knees bent. One last time, roll up. And this time we're gonna pause. So you can bend the knees, catch the side of your feet or your ankles or just drop whatever you land. Give yourself about three, five breaths before we start moving. Noticing how your hamstrings are feeling today. And if you need more, just move your toes closer to your face and try to feel the back of your knees is getting closer to the floor. Good, release the pose, roll up. Bring your legs behind you, we meet into the more facing dog. So spread your fingers, lift the hips up. Have a walk on spot, one heel at a time, push down. Let your head become heavier. Good, when you're ready, move all the way forward to high plank. So move your chest forward, shoulders on your wrists. 
As you exhale, lift the hips back and up, downward facing dog. Inhale, move all the way forward, shoulders on your wrists. Exhale, press back. Try to lower your heels each time a little bit more. Two more like this. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, press all the way back. One last time, inhale to transfer the weight to the front and bring it back. Good, as you move to your plank, stay there. Just to test your balance, pick up your right foot off the floor. Try not to move the hips. This is your three-legged plank. Replace your foot down and swap left foot off the mat. Try and keep your hips even, belly button in. One more each side, right toes lengthened back. Left, using the strength of your hamstrings, replace it down, left foot. Good, take your legs back to starting position, lower your knees, untuck your toes, bend the elbows chaturanga. Moving into the locust pose, puff the chest forward, stretch your arms back, and again, lift one leg at a time off the floor. So both of them as straight as you can. If it feels good, interlock your fingers behind your back, spread your arms more, maybe join your legs together. Really preparing our hamstrings, giving them strength before we stretch them a lot in our flow. Breathing through your nose, exhale, lengthen your legs, lift the chest more. Good, release your grip, push back, downward facing dog. Walk your feet all the way to the front of the mat and take a moment to stay in your forward fold. So if it feels good, bend the knees, catch the back of your heels or your ankles, move your belly close to your thighs and drop the head. Breathe in, exhale, maybe extend your legs a little bit more. Again, breathe in, bend the knees a little bit. Exhale, push the floor away, lengthen your legs a bit more. Bend through the knees and then press to lengthen. On the next one, bend the knees and roll up through the spine, bone by bone. Reach your arms overhead and take your hands at the center of your heart. We move into our sun salutation. So feet together or apart, your choice. Breathe in, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Try to move your belly to your thighs, nose to the shins. Inhale, lengthen your spine halfway. Exhale, step back to your plank. Lower your knees, untuck your toes, chaturanga. Push the chest forward, cobra, elbows in. Press back, downward facing dog. Stay here, we take five slow breaths, try to open up again the back of the legs. Knees can be bent, feet can be wide. Try and keep the spine straight, your ears in the middle of your arms, one straight line between your arms, your spine and your hips. Bend the knees, walk all the way to the front of the mat. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Breathing, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, step back to your plank. Keep your legs straight if you like, chaturanga. Inhale, it's your upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, breathe here. Each time stretching your calves more. Try and maintain your abdominals hugging in. Breathe slowly. Bend the knees all the way, walk to the front of the mat. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Let's take one more round to warm up. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Lengthen halfway. And step back to plank. Chaturanga. Upper facing dog or cobra. Press back, downward facing dog. Stay here, float your right leg up straight behind you, flexing your right foot, three-legged dog. So try and keep your hips square. The left heel pushes down, your right leg lifts up with the strength of your hamstrings, your chest moves to the thighs. Step right foot forward, left knee down. Place the towel under your knee if you need it. Place your hand onto the knee, square the hips and try to move your tailbone heavy to the floor. If it feels good, move the chest slightly behind you. 
maybe reach your arms overhead. Keep your hips as square as possible and your glutes are squeezing, so everything is active. One more slow inhale. Exhale, bring your hands around the front foot. You can use blocks if you want to. Inhale, you're shifting the chest forward and exhale, you're moving back into the half split. Front leg straight to bend. We go again, we rock forward. And as you pull back, try to get a nice stretch in your hamstrings. Reaching all the way forward and pressing back. One last time, shift to the front. Take it back. And now shift to the front, move your back foot across the body. Place your right hand inside, you can use your block or just the floor, and open up into extended side angle preparation. So the hips move forward and you're swiveling the chest to the ceiling. See if you can feel a nice stretch in the right groin. And then activation of the abdominals as you lean back and keep the spine straight. Good, one more slow breath. As you exhale, a release. Swipe your right leg back behind you, returning to the three-legged dog. Flex the foot, and then place your foot close to the other one. Stay still or take a vinyasa in between before we get to the left. So when you go back to your downward facing dog, keep your hips square, the arms straight, float your left leg straight behind you. Push down through the right heel, nice calf stretch. Lift the heel as high as you can make it of the left leg. Square the hips, then step your left foot forward, take your right knee down. Place your hands on your thigh to come up. You can stay here or rock the hips forward, but keep your tailbone heavy. You can, if you like, float the chest a little bit more. Play with any position of your arms, maybe high up. Whatever you're doing, you're keeping your lower back long, the abdominals strong. And you try to squeeze your glutes, they are still working. Good, place your hands around the front foot. Inhale, open the chest, so the back toes can be tucked under or not. You're shifting back into the half split. Wiggle the left foot forward if you need to. Again, you rock forward and back. So you can adjust the back foot, toes tucked or not. You can arrange the front foot further forward. You can use your blocks. What you're trying to do is to progressively open up your hamstrings. Using the connection with the breath, to feel a bit more comfortable when you go back. Good, one last time, inhale, maybe shifting forward, dropping the right hip, and then pulling back. Now return with the weight onto the front foot, and you will take now the right knee, right knee stays, right foot goes across, left hand inside of your left foot, open up for your extended side angle. You can keep your hand on a block or stay a little higher up, wherever you are, Press the hips forward, lean back with the spine. So try and open up the left side of your groin. Maintain your breath as steady as possible. And then gently return. Again, spike your left leg behind you for the three-legged dog. Flex your toes and replace your foot to the floor. Stay still or take one vinyasa. back into downward facing dog. Right leg lifts, flex your toes, square the hips, keep your legs as straight as you can. Step right foot forward, crescent lunge. Lift your arms overhead. Again, you can open your arms a little bit, lift the chest up and back and moving into your Anjanyasana, a little back bend. If your back is sensitive, place your hands on your lower back, that's also fine. Feel a nice stretch into the front of the hip. We move right away into warrior three. So press your palms back, transfer the weight to the front foot. See if you can pick up your back leg a couple of inches off the floor or a little much higher. And then maybe flex again your foot and then try to lengthen the spine in line with the back leg. Bottom leg can be bent to straight. Press your palms up to engage your back muscles more. One muscle breath. Exhale, reach step back. Press a lunge, arms come up, open into the warrior two. Extend side angle from here. You can bend the right elbow, or you can take your fingers to the floor, 
circle your left arm and bring your arm up to the sky. One straight line between your two arms if that's possible. Move the hips forward and lean back with the spine. The back toes are completely touching down. Notice what you're feeling at the level of the hips. If it feels good, we move now to a triangle pose exactly as you are. So you try to extend the front leg without moving much. But if you need to, again, grab hold of a block to stay higher or place your hands on your shin. Same idea with the spine, but now the legs are straight. So push the floor away, lengthen in all directions. Good, take one more slow breath, and then come all the way back and up. Rebend the front knee, reverse your warrior, flip the palms, stretch your right arm away from the front. If it feels good, you can catch your wrist, make a little bit more space into the side of the body. Maybe look up, abdominals are strong. Good, reverse again, frame the front foot, swipe your right leg behind you, flex your toes three-legged dog. You can lower your foot or point your toes and move to plank. As you did before, we're building up three-legged vinyasa, bend the elbows chaturanga, keep your leg lifted, and then upward facing dog or cobra. Good, and push back, downward facing dog. Let's go to the other side. Left leg lifts, flex your foot, square the hips. Try and push your right heel down as much as possible. Take a big step of your front foot forward, crescent lunge, lift your arms overhead. So again, you can widen a little bit the stance of the arms and open the chest if you want to go into a back bend, or you just stay up straight, tailbone heavy, squeeze your inner thighs. So super tired the front leg, we're going to move into warrior three. Press your palms back, lean forward, transfer the weight, maybe pick up your back leg a couple of inches, so try to go higher. Flex your toes and press your palms up. One straight line, possibly, between your foot and your head. One more slow breath. And then place your foot back and down. Lift your arms overhead. Open. Warrior two. You can go wide now. Lower your left elbow onto your thigh and reach your right arm all the way around. Try to stretch your fingertips up to the sky. Maybe your fingertips of the bottom hand touch the floor and you're really aiming for one straight line. Move the hips forward. Maybe look up. Keep tracking your left knee towards your toes. So you're bending your front knee a lot. Again, you can adjust your hand or keep your fingers where they are and extend the front leg triangle pose. It's a bit deeper for the hamstrings. Lean back, if you need to, using your block or using your hand on the shin can bring you higher, so you should feel more manageable. Tailbone goes back. Keep your legs active. So pull the kneecaps up. And then however you can come all the way up, you re-bend the front knee for your reverse warrior. So flip the palm, stretch, and then bring everything in the upper body away from the front knee. Maybe catch your wrist to stretch a little bit deeper. Keep drawing your belly button in, push the left knee forward. Beautiful, and then as you release, cut with your arms to frame the front foot. Again, three-legged dog, swipe your left leg straight behind you, flex your toes and square the hips. You can place your foot to the floor right away or point your toes of the left foot, shift to plank, keeping your leg lifted. As you bend, keep the leg lifted, spine straight, and then only at the end, upward facing dog. Take yourself into a quick child's pose. Feet together, knees apart. Maybe flip the palms up. Good, one more breath to lengthen through your tailbone. And then re-flip the palms and meet me back into downward facing dog. Bend the knees, walk all the way to the front. We stay into forward fold. If that's available, bend the knees. Catch the opposite elbow behind your thighs and relax your head. Maybe extend the legs a bit more and slide your arms lower behind your ankles and release your head. Only if this feels good 
on your back, on your hamstrings. Otherwise, you can keep your knees slightly apart. Place your hands on your blocks or your shins. So as long as you feel your legs are lengthening, you're good. And then take your time to roll up through the spine. Good, bring your knees to touch, feet to touch. We're gonna move into a little balance here. So place your hands at the center of your heart, pick up your right knee. And then if that's available, peace fingers, catch your big toe, and then stretch your left arm up. So this is where you can stay, just practicing balancing or extending your right leg as much as it feels good to with the front. Pull the right shoulder back and try to maintain your bottom leg really straight. Focus on your breath, stretch. Same idea, you keep the catch, but you can keep your knee bent, open sideways. So the arm stretches in opposition with the leg and your hips stay forward. So alternatively, you can just support your knee or the back of the thigh. Good, one more slow breath. From here, return to the front. Hands on your hips, you're gonna step the right foot back just halfway and turn the heel in. So it's a mini, mini step. The right heel turns 45 degrees angle, square the hips, inhale, exhale, flatten your back for your pyramid stretch. So try and maintain your hips at the same level, the front leg can bend if you need to. Once you feel a stretch, place your hands on your shin or on your block, so on the floor, breathing to lengthen and exhale, soften your head towards the shin. It's very, very tempting now to twist the hips to shift the weight only to one foot. See if you can keep the weight of the body kind of in the middle and then lengthen through your lower back. Keep your legs active and it's absolutely fine to maintain a front knee bent, but try and keep the back heel on the floor. We stay here for three more slow breaths. Good, bend the front knee, we go to standing split. So walk your hands slightly forward Transfer the weight on your left foot, pick up the back leg a little bit or a lot, and then eventually the leg lifts higher and you can move your head closer to the foot again so your hands can come closer to the foot too. Knees can be bent, that's absolutely fine. But the deeper you push from the foot, the easier it is to lift the top leg up. One more breath. And then super slowly replace your foot close to the other one. Find a way to come up and reset hands your heart. Okay, we try to balance to the other side. So spread the toes of your right foot, pick up your left knee, make a peace sign, catch your big toe, and then stay here, or start lengthening your leg in front. Try and pull the left shoulder back and maintain your hips square. Bottom leg will wanna bend, try to keep it strong. Stay there one more breath, and then go ahead and open sideways. Your arm is gonna help you counterbalance. Try not to move your hips too much. And again, if that's too much, you can just bend the knee, maybe support it. Okay, bring your leg in front of you, not an easy transition. Place your hands on your hips and then step your foot just halfway back. It's a mini step. Your left heel turns in, full foot on the floor. Move your hips to the front at best of your capacity and then hinge in your little pyramid stretch. So hips go back, spine is long, stop whenever you feel the stretch, take your hands on your shin, on your blocks or on the floor, and then breathing to lengthen your spine even more. And as you exhale, see if you can release your head down. Again, do what you can to keep your legs straight, but you might have to bend them slightly. Just try and keep your left heel on the floor and square the hips. Okay, one more breath, and then we move to standing split, bend the front knee. Again, walk your hands slightly further forward and maybe pick up the foot just a couple of inches, or start lifting it up and then drop the head so the leg can rise. You can extend the bottom leg if you wish and take your hands closer to the foot. So imagine your head can kiss the shin and your leg lift up. You're really working the strength of your glutes and the length of your hamstrings. Good, one more breath. When you're ready, slowly bring the foot back and down with control. Bend your knees, bring your fingertips on the floor, lift the spine halfway, and as exhale, just step back. Downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up, 
This time you can open the hip and then move to pigeon pose. The right knee comes forward and your back leg stays straight or you can bend it. Feel free to sit on a block if you like. Feel free to wiggle the foot further forward if you need more. Breathe in to lengthen your spine and as you exhale, shift the body weight forward too. So we begin to unwind. Try to maintain your back leg. If you choose to have it straight, rotate it in. A little bit like you did in Warrior 3. And progressively soften your chest to soften your head and your legs. Come all the way back to your center, lifting your chest. The leg which is behind you simply moves forward. We come to a seated twist. So bring your right knee at the center, left foot on the side of your knee, and then allow the hips to find the floor. Breathe in, stretch your right arm up, and as you exhale, twist towards the front knee. You can catch your knee, lengthen, and spin the chest back. Maybe use the lever of your elbow to go a little deeper. slowly come all the way back and up we extend the legs to the front and move into reverse plank so fingertips pointing forward keep your legs as close as you can together and then push the feet down lift the hips and open the chest so strengthening again your hamstrings and your back if that's not good just bend your knees and come to the reverse tabletop knees forward hips up and shift the weight back a little bit take two more slow breaths lifting the hips by pushing the floor away and then kind of slowly release down find your way back into downward facing dog you can cross your legs or swipe them back once you arrive in your downward facing dog stay still or take one vinyasa we need back into downward facing dog lift your left leg up you can open the hips at this point stretch and then pigeon pose left knee forward right leg back you can move your heel to the front, do what feels good in your hips. Do you need to bend the back knee or not? And then move the belly forward. Release your head and your shoulders. Try and transfer the weight of the body to the right side and keep the left knee pushing down. feel ready come all the way back and up adjust your knee slightly more in and the back leg comes across for your twist right foot to the side of your knee lower your hips lift up breathe in and exhale twist up and over to your right side so you can use your left elbow or you can push it against your knee make sure the lower back doesn't crunch you're maintaining length breathe in and exhale twist a bit deeper Good, come all the way be facing to the front. Take your feet to touch knees apart. We move into a butterfly position. So cut your ankles, lift up through the spine, and then move the spine as forward as possible. You can use your elbows to push the knees down or your hands can catch your toes. Try to reach as forward as possible and then drop the head down. If you need more space, just allow the feet to come a little further forward. Sometimes it is easier to fold that way. So we will be here for about five, eight super slow breaths. If there is any tension you can feel in your neck, you can say yes and no with your head. You can take deeper exhalations. And then take your time to come all the way back and up. 
Send your legs to the front of the mat. Find your way to lay onto your back. We'll switch on our hamstrings one last time. So keep your feet quite close to the hips. Press your palms down. We move to bridge. Curl your tailbone and then lift the hips. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Arch as much as you can. And if you wish, interlock your fingers behind your back. Let your fists reach to the heels. Push from the feet. And again, move the weight backwards. So the chest moves to the face, belly stretches. Feel the power in your inner thighs, in your hamstrings, in your glutes. Close your eyes if it feels good. Good, one more breath. And then let go of the grip, roll down with control. Bring your left knee to your chest. Right leg stretches forward. We move into a twist. Move your left knee across the body. Stretch your arm in a position. Just a few breaths to loosen up the lower back before you fully relax. Good, come back to center and take the same to the other side. Run in, left leg long. Again, use your left hand to draw the knee down to the floor. Try and keep it close to your belly and then spin the chest in opposition. Make your way back to your center and then release your legs one by one, finishing off in your Shavasana. So legs can be bent or straight, your hands can come on your body or on the ground. You can close your eyes if you wish, give yourself a moment to reset, to rest. Notice how your legs are feeling now. Take a deep, slow breath through your nose. Exhale slowly through your nose. And again, breathing through your nose, let your belly rise. And exhale completely. Please enjoy your final relaxation as long as you want to. I am closing the practice for you here today. So thank you for joining me on the mat. It was great to have you. Hope you're feeling great in your body. Hope to see you very soon here at Silver Linings. Thank you very much.